Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up a watch list to scan for earnings in the Thinkorswim trading platform. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back to all of our subscribers. And if this is your first time here, a warm welcome to you. My name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos uh, about the stock market, about options trading, and the Thinkorswim trading platform. And today we're going to be talking about how to set up a watch list to scan for earnings in the Thinkorswim trading platform. Now, this idea was uh, from a question from one of my viewers, and I appreciate Torsten sending in this question. Thank you so much, Torsten. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll understand how to set up a watch list to scan for earnings. So, Torsten's question is Hi, I would like to add a filter for earnings. I do show all stocks that have yesterday's earnings, but can you tell me a code or a think script or a method to get these stocks from the calendar? I know I can export to file, but I do look for an easier way. Don't we all, Torsten? Don't we all? I mean, if we can make this any easier, uh, the easier we can make it, the better, right? Uh, so he says, so like create a watch list for earning stocks. Thanks so much. So absolutely, Torsten. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in the uh, Thinkorswim trading platform. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. It's not too bad. So if I understand Torsten's question right, uh, what you're looking for, Torsten, is to come in here and come up in here to your watch list and come down here to, you know, say earnings in one week. You click that earnings in one week right there and boom, it's going to populate all the stocks that have earnings within one week in your watch list so that you can come right in here and just click through that watch list and, and look and see where those earnings are. So we can set that up uh, two weeks out, one week out, two days out, one day out. Um, whatever style you're looking to trade around earnings. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, show you guys how to set that up. So before we do that, let me just come in here and we're gonna delete first this, uh, this scan so that we can reset it up. So let's come in here to our scan tab. Now, one of the best things to do when you come in here to your scan tab is just come right up in here in your top right hand corner and just click reset. Now what that does is it's gonna reset it to the Thinkorswim uh, default and it's just gonna clear out the previous scan that you had in there. So what we wanna do is we wanna set up a scan to scan for any stock, um, let's say above a certain price point that has earnings within one week. So to do that, um, you know, we're gonna come in here that's already pre-populated from Thinkorswim Let's say we are looking at stocks at like $100 or more. So we wanna come in here and we find mark, which is market value, and we're gonna click 100, or we're gonna add 100 in the box there. So now we're scanning for anything over $100. Now these other two, these are scanning for stocks. So now we wanna delete those by just coming over here to the, to the X, and we're gonna delete those stock filters, and we're gonna add a study filter. And we do that by adding this, by clicking this button right up here. This is add study filter. So we'll drop that down. And now this is where we can add the earnings. So we come in here and we're looking for corporate actions and we're gonna come right over here to earnings. Now, when I click this earnings, it's gonna give us the option to pick how far out uh, we want to scan for earnings. So it defaults to 10 bars. Now, when we're talking about 10 bars, uh, we got to look at this little button right over here because each bar represents, in this case, one day. Now, if we were to change this to one week, now 10 bars represents 10 weeks. So if we're talking about looking at stocks that have earnings in, let's say, two weeks time, uh, we would look at 10 bars because there's basically five trading days per week. So we're looking out uh, 10 bars ahead. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're back on days over here. So we're looking at two weeks out. Now, if we dialed it down to five days or five bars, we're looking at five days out or basically one week. So let's go ahead and set that up uh, for earnings on stocks that uh, are $100 or more that have earnings in less than one week. So we've already set that up. Now, if we hit scan, you can see that it's populated all these stocks in here that have uh, that are 50, or I'm sorry, $100 or more uh, in less than a week. So before I actually show you guys how to save this as a watch list, you know, you can see that we have quite a few here. Um, and maybe we don't want to, you know, scan through every single one of those. Uh, but there, you, you, you know, you guys can see how we do that. But let's say, for example, we wanted to look at just our favorites 
uh, watch list. So let's say we had a, uh, a watch list that we'd made up previously that was just the favorites. And you know we added those ticker symbols in there uh, manually and we labeled it favorites or we labeled it uh, you know whatever we labeled it as. Uh, in this case, in my situation here, we labeled it as one favorite. So the one will all, always show up to the top of the watch list. So let's say we wanted just to scan inside that watch list. So right up here where it says scan in, you know we could pick all stocks, uh, we could pick um, all symbols, all stocks, all indices, uh, basically whatever we want to scan. But let's say we just wanted to scan our favorites. So I'm going to come in here to my personal watch list that I've set up, and I'm going to find that one favorites, and I'm going to add that in there. Now when I hit scan, it's just going to scan through my favorites, and it kind of narrows it down a little bit more. So now these stocks right here have earnings within one week, and they're over $100. Now let's say, for example, um, I don't need that $100 filter because if it's in my watch list, I don't want it to be scanning for anything above 100 because anything on my watch list, I want it to scan. So all I'd need to do is just come up here and take that out and just hit scan. And now it's scanning for everything in my favorites watch list and it's pulling that up right there. So Torsten's question was, how do I get it from the calendar or how do I get it from this scan into my watch list? And so let me show you guys again how to do that. So let's go ahead and add a filter for stock again. We're going to come back in here and we're going to add it to mark and we're going to go $100 and above. And now we're just going to come back in here and save, you know, change it to uh, scan in all stocks. So again, there's our scan. So to save it, this is really simple, you guys. All we got to do is come right up in here in the top right hand corner to this little drop down menu. And we're going to hit save scan query. Now we can save this whatever, you know, however, whatever name we want it to be. So we can say, uh, let's say earnings within one week. So when we click uh, save, that's going to save it as a scan. And it's also going to be able to pull up in our watch list. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now when we come over here to our watch list, when we click this drop down menu and come into our personals, uh, we're going to come into the ease, look down here and it says earnings within one week and boom, there they all are right there. So that's how you save that watch list. Um, but before we, you know, let me show you guys a couple of other little tweaks that you can do on this watch list, because let's say for example, you're, you know, you're selling premium and you're maybe looking at maybe making uh, you know, selling some options like a day, you know, the day of right before earnings and then uh, taking that off in the morning. So you don't want to scan two weeks out. You just want to scan one week out. Maybe you're only looking for stocks that have a high implied volatility ranking um, so that you're, you're getting the biggest bang for the buck when you're selling those options. So let's come back in here and kind of tweak our, uh, kind of tweak our scan just a little bit here. So again, uh, let's say we're looking at earnings uh, within you know two bars out so that we can get a little bit closer to earnings. And now let's add another uh, let's add another study filter and come in here and we're going to go to volatility in this case and we're going to go to IV percentile. So we come in here to IV percentile and now it gives us the option to scan for stocks. You know, let's say for a 50 percent uh, up to 100 percent implied volatility ranking. So we put in 50 to 100 and now we have earnings within two days. Uh, anything that's $100 or more. Now, let's even dial it down a little bit further and let's say, you know, we don't want to scan just in all stocks. We want to scan in all stocks that are actually optionable. So we come down in here to intersect with, come in here to category and all optionable. Now we're scanning in all the stocks that are out there that are optionable that have uh, earnings within the next two days that have an implied volatility ranking of 50% or more. So let's go ahead and hit scan for that and see what we got. And you know, there, there's some really good candidates for some earnings plays. So let's go ahead and just save this into our watch list and then we'll go back and look at it on the chart. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go uh, save, uh, save scan query. And we're gonna say earnings within uh, two days, high IV. So high implied volatility earnings within two days. Now we're gonna go ahead and click save on that. 
Now we come back over here into our uh, watch list search and you know because we have so many it, it popped it down here to this next one so you can see earnings within two days with high IV. So now there's our watch list. Now if we come over here to the chart you can see that uh, if we're scanning for high implied volatility ranking uh, this little uh, this little label right up here in, in here in the top left hand corner of the chart this gives us the implied volatility ranking and I did a video on this and how to set this up and really what it all means but uh, if we're looking to sell premium around earnings we want that implied volatility really high so that we can see now as we scan through um, our watch list here just double checking as we kind of you know test our watch list here we wanted stocks that had uh, implied volatility of 50% or more. And so as we go down through here, we just kind of check and see, yeah, these are all 50% or more. Uh, we have earnings just right on the horizon. And so that's how you can save these watch lists, guys. I hope, uh, I hope this has been helpful. Um, you know, the Thinkorswim trading platform is pretty awesome to narrow down your, your searches uh, your scans and be able to populate them into your watch list. And so, uh, Torsten, I, I hope this video has been helpful. I hopefully, hopefully it's been helpful to any of you guys who are looking just to find a way to pull that information off your calendar or off your scan tab and throw it into your watch list and then be able to click down through your watch list. Now, let me just add here in this video, if you want to be able to click down through your watch list and have it populate into your your chart here, you need to make sure that these numbers right here are, are matched up from your watch list to your chart. So you can see right here, I've got the one. Um, now, if I had you know a two on here and I was clicking, that's not going to do anything. I need to make sure that they're linked up um, by adding the, making sure that they're both the same. So now, as I go down here through this watch list, um, they're all linked up, and it's uh, it's working beautifully. So. You guys, I hopefully uh, this video has been helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share this video if you think somebody else could benefit from it. Again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.